to watch what could be one of the biggest games in world football and out and about on Olympic way we've got Ibrahim as well this afternoon Ibrahim who have you been catching up with well, there's no doubt about it. The Hammers fans are confident. They feel that there's a sense of feeling that they should belong in the top flight and this should be their day, having beaten Blackpool comprehensively twice already this season. The only caveat to that is that they feel the only thing standing in their way is themselves. For that reason, despite their confidence, in their heart of hearts, I doubt there is a Hammer in here who's taking anything for granted against the Blackpool side. But remember, they've been in this position before. QPR running out of chances and games and they take on a Southampton side. Currently, Ibrahim Mustafa, 10 10 points above them in the league table. Yes, Phil, when you're floundering at the foot of the table and relegation looking more likely with each passing game, the last thing you want is negative headlines. Pick up your paper today and you'll be greeted with the story of a Rangers team bonding trip to Dubai that was likened to a stag do. Players staying out late, poor training sessions and divisions in the squad do not read for ideal preparations ahead of a huge relegation six-pointer here at St Mary's. On his 66th birthday, Harry Redknapp returned to Southampton, the club he was actually relegated with back in 2005. I'm sure nobody here would need reminding. If he is to avoid the same fate with QPR, you'd have to say the best present he could get is three points this afternoon. Looking for a second to uh, take the lead against Norwich. Have they got it? Arsenal against Norwich. Ibrahim Mustafa. Yes, it's a turnaround here at the Emirates. Arsenal 2, Norwich City 1. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, the third of the Arsenal substitutes, driving forward, puts the ball into the box, gets the return from Podolski, squares it across, and Oliver Giroud puts it in from all of about two yards. It's Arsenal 2, Norwich City 1. Let's go to Swansea against Arsenal. Ibrahim Mustafa. Swansea nil, Arsenal 2, and an English side has come to Wales and drawn first blood against the Welsh team. Who knows if that will continue later on this evening. Evening. The first goal came as a result of a fantastic run by Santi Gasolo, who was the best player on the park today by a country mile. He drove into the box, squared it back to Giroud, who made a mess of it. The ball came to Nacho Monreal, who drilled a shot into the bottom right-hand corner to send the Arsenal fans into raptures. The second goal came at the end of Swansea overcommitted men forward. Olivier Giroud found himself with a ball on the halfway line, played it through to substitute Aaron Ramsey, who had been getting pelters from the Swansea fans because of his Cardiff connections, obviously. He then fed it to Jovino. Jovino couldn't really miss and it finishes here Swansea City nil Arsenal 2 But first, the British government has suspended all flights between the UK and the Egyptian resort of Sham el-Sheikh. Ibrahim Mustafa is a BBC colleague and is stranded now in Sham el-Sheikh. Good morning to you Ibrahim. What are you being told? First, good morning, Claire. Good morning, Alan. Um, what we've been told is not a great deal, to be honest. We've um, tried to contact our tour operator. I mean, our flight's actually not due out till Saturday. Our tour operator on their website has said that they are halting their holiday program until the 12th of November, which is next week. I've come up to the airport today, and um, yeah, it looks pretty stranded here. I mean, because obviously a lot of flights have been cancelled. Just sort of walking around Terminal 1 now, and um, I can probably see a handful of people, most of those are security staff here. And I, I wonder, what, what, what's happened to the rest of the tourists? How are they spending this time? I've been told, um, sort of third-hand through somebody else, that a tour company has put up certain travellers in a hotel nearby, so or allowing them to stay in their resort for, for an extra night free of charge until the picture becomes clearer. So I'm not sure about people trying to find other means of getting out, but I think the tour companies are trying to reassure people as best they can. Let's talk to Ibrahim Mustafa. He's a BBC journalist. He's currently out there in Sharm and he can't get back. Hello, Ibrahim. Good morning to you. Good morning, Vanessa. What did you make of the security at Sharm el-Sheikh Airport when you went through? When we arrived, it was on the day of the um, Russian um, the Airbus, the Airbus crash. It, yeah. Literally, we'd heard the announcement half an hour before boarding at Gatwick. And when we arrived at Sharm, it just seemed to be business as usual, really. People looked through our passports and there was no, there didn't seem to be anything extra, as you'd expect, given the nature of the incident that had taken place earlier that day. I mean, I heard a tourist talking to Paul Ross on our breakfast show this morning saying a couple of days ago the atmosphere in his hotel was uproarious, it was fun, people having a laugh, it was a great holiday atmosphere. Now it's an atmosphere of silence and people are in their bedrooms and it's, it's, it's nothing like it was. I can see that. I mean, certainly last night, um, as everything, as the news was breaking, that flights would sort of be being suspended and that sort of thing, um, people were certainly far less relaxed than they had been over the last couple of days. Since the since Saturday, people have just sort of been just getting on with it. But then, obviously, as the news was breaking last night, people are starting to get a little bit more apprehensive. 
And um, you know, a lot of people are glued to their phones, trying to get on the internet yesterday, trying to call home and trying to get as much information as possible. But then it becomes quite speculative. Somebody says something, and then it, word travels, and people panic a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's a far less relaxed now than it was maybe 24, 48 hours ago. I think general cricket in this country is going pretty well and, and England doing great so yeah. That's not in England or rather Samit Patel at Listen Green Estate in northwest London attending a cricket tournament with a difference. Yeah well Street Chance uh, is a project that's aimed at using cricket to engage young people in sort of deprived urban areas particularly those affected by youth crime and antisocial behaviour. That was Richard Joyce the National Operations Manager for Street Chance. Khalid another volunteer coach from Birmingham thinks the scheme helps develop bonds among the young children. I have a kid who, who has autism but you know it has improved his life his uh, life skills, his confidence, so it's, it's completely changed his life. Ravi Chan and Samit Patel believe that the legacy from such schemes could mean big things for the future of cricket in this country. I know there's a lot of kids um, in India and, and the subcontinent that, that die to play, let alone county cricket, but club cricket, and, and this, this is no better place to start, really. Arsenal into the top four at home to Norwich. They've done it the hard way, Ibrahim Mustafa. <laughs> Yeah, so before the game I described Arsenal season as a roller coaster, and this game has been exactly that. After a dominant first half where they should have been at least two goals up, they somehow found themselves a goal down just after half time as Michael Turner gave Norwich a surprise lead. It didn't look like scoring until the last 10 minutes when they won a penalty after Oliver Giroud was tugged to the ground. Mikel Arteta put it away. Then substitute Alex Oxlade Chamber put the ball into the box, and Sebastian Bassong put the ball past his own keeper to make it 2 1. And then right at the depth, Lucas. Podolski made it three with a nice turn and shot on the edge of the penalty area. Arsenal now up to third and looking good for a finish in the Champions League places.